Breaking news, you will be shocked, I can assure you. An Islamic clergy has told Yoruba agitators that your leaders, Yoruba leaders, are not ready for the self-independence. And honestly, I concur with him. I do agree with this man. Honestly speaking, personally, if you look at the table of things, the turnout of events, and what they have been representing since this whole incident started, you will agree with me that Yoruba leaders, to be quite candid, are not ready for this independence. Yes, for starters, those who call themselves the leaders, the likes of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Lagos State Governor, and a few other governors were there when Tinobu made a proclamation some time ago that um, we believe in one Nigeria, nobody's going anywhere, we are staying together, we will stay with one Nigeria. Anybody who is calling for any other thing wants to destroy Nigeria, blah, 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 blah. Islamic clergy is telling those who are agitating for, you know, everyone saying, listen, guys, if you, if you, if you think about the statement, the Islamic clergy is saying to them, your king's men, your leaders, because the truth of the matter is, if you look at the hierarchy of things, you don't just jump one morning and say, I'm going to do this. There are what we call order and protocol and how things should be done. It's not a conventional way, but sadly, it is the way things go. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get the details. Yoruba leaders are not prepared for self-determination and self-independence. Islamic clergy tells agitator, your kinsmen are your betrayers. <laughs> That's a strong word. Uh, it's very serious. Annie Badon, based Islamic clergy, Professor Sabet Ayodele Olagoki has declared that the leaders of Yoruba ethnic groups are not yet ready for self-independence. Olagoke, who spoke on Thursday in Ibadan, or your state capital, advised Yoruba nation agitators to pipe low for now with the idea of the self-determination for the region for now until the people of the region learn to remain united and speak with one voice. Yorubas are not united. I know my young ones will not want to hear the truth, but the truth of the matter is, if you get into it now and your leaders are not with you, you will suffer unnecessarily. Because these people who are leaders who are supposed to be speaking for you are divided. You need oneness. You need unity. You need togetherness. Nobody can stand against the force of unity. Imagine that all Yoruba leaders from governors to senators to House of Rep members, former and past, present and past leadership in Nigeria, in whatever capacity, all agree on one table to say we want independence. I put it to you, nobody can stop the Yoruba nation. The reason Sunday Boho is suffering alone is because there is no oneness. He said the body language of the leaders is a clear indication that they are not even prepared for the self-determination. How can they not have spoken about Sunday Buhu? Every one of them is silent, saving their head. Daily Post recalled that some leaders and individuals have been clamoring for self-independence for Yoruba ethnic group for a few months now. But the truth of the matter is, if this must be achieved, the leaders, everyone, must come together as one. I will advise the youth to make other plans on the ground why these things happen because it is shameful your leaders are not with you whoa that's a big one and he was not lying he was not lying in any way form or kind he was saying the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth if you listen closely and very well you will understand it oh yes you will understand it you know this is the reason why people you know can no longer trust those who call themselves leadership. They went there. Nigerians trusted them and gave them the mandate to say, represent us. They got there. And it would be sad to tell you that most of them are there for their next ambition. They got there and it was like an opportunity for them. They forgot that people voted. People came out. People clamored. People did everything possible to get them there. They forgot it. They forgotten. 
I must be very honest with you. Like a distant memory, they can't even remember that some of them went to people's houses, went to see women's leader, market uh, women uh, ahead to say, Madam, organize the women. Oh, we must win this thing because I'm going to be representing your interest at the house. Whatever you guys want, I will be speaking for you. They for it's a distant memory. I can assure you they don't even remember. They don't. They don't remember it at all. You see, this is why when you look at it, you understand that, you know, they go there. You'll be surprised at some of the laws that are being passed under their very eyes. Some of the laws that these people are coming up with. And you are wondering, are there people from other region? For instance, in case you are not aware, please go on Apple Line Media on that video and see for yourself that Buhari recently released 1,009 uh, Buharam people and he did it secretly. He told them that Nigerians must not be aware. You know, it was a secret ceremony and they've rehoused them. They've given them jobs. Sadly, some of them are in the security apparatus, in case you're not aware. So when you see them, they shoot, they see, shoot aside and they kill. Don't think every policeman and the army you see is a, is, a, is a proper one. Some are bloodthirsty, some have been Boko Haram members and the rest and the rest. So when you look at the whole course of the narrative, you understand where this Islamic clergy is coming from. And he's advising, I honestly, I agree with him. I'm not even, let's be very optimistic, okay? Let's not look through the lens of bias. Let's be very optimistic. He said the young ones should look at the body language of the older one. That it is sad that up till now, none of them categorically have spoken with regards to Sunday Bogu. Is the truth. In fact, the person of uh, uh, Shiwaji Bola Tinubu is quite happy. You know, because she was, uh, to the Sunday wants to spoil his chance, so to say, in quote and unquote, of being president. Sunday is shouting for self-determination, is shouting that Yoruba want to leave. He's shouting that there will be no, so he's quite happy, so to say, you know. So when you look at it, who is really speaking for the voiceless? Who is really speaking for the less privileged? Who is actually speaking for the people? Who sincerely is in line and is saying, you know what? Let us ensure that the people get transparency, that there is honestly, honesty, justice. Who, who? Who now? I saw the matter, Rachel. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. We really appreciate you. Remember, all these people and most of them are after their own self. They don't care what happens to Nigerians. But God will deliver us from their hands and from their deceits. Bye for now.